Okay. Um, yes, the one that also, also came across from uh, International Monetary Funds, which is IMF, uh, more or less similar to this debt crisis. Uh, I think there was a meeting. Um, I'm not sure whether it's yesterday uh, in uh, in Washington. Uh, one of the members raised a concern: Nigerians, uh, they believe Nigerians haven't saved enough. Uh, in order to carry out a huge uh, fiscal de uh, deficit, uh, despite relying on oils. And what IMF said is that, uh, according to their report, that they strongly recommend that uh, fiscal uh, tightness to help to tackle inflation should be put in place. And they also add that they should be addressing the debt vulnerabil vulnerabilities which is currently, is currently facing. And there is also a deliberate uh, cooperation between the fiscal, uh, just the cooperation between the fiscal monetary policy and authorities just to navigate the present challenges. It's just bringing those fiscal uh, monetary policy together just to see how, what ways they can do in order to navigate these problems. And what they've done is that they've mapped up uh, difficult trade of facing the fiscal uh, policy makers. Uh, they're trying to protect the low income families uh, from the real income losers while avoiding moves that could also contravene uh, the monetary policy. So, and they also said that reducing the debt is necessary, which is one of the things that Nigeria should be considered. And they're also saying that uh, the, fis the fiscal consolidation that is sending a powerful signal that the policies are aligned in the fight against inflation, uh, which is done that will reduce the size of the required uh, uh, policy rate increase in order to keep inflation expectations and also debt services cost lower than otherwise. So these are kind of the things that uh, IMF is trying to encourage Nigerians to do. And they also say that uh, Nigerian fiscal troubles has been worsening on the back of uh, huge uh, FOIP subsidies. Subsidies. Uh, subsidies have been one of the big concern because we pay a lot on subsidies. And uh, some as to be if our subsidies is not it's not a genuine. Uh, to me, it looks it doesn't look genuine. So maybe so that's one the government need to look into. And the low productions due to high tariffs. Uh, as well as low uh, incomes uh, mobilizations. Uh, so this is one of the things government needs to see. And they also believe that the governments are facing a very difficult environment uh, in many countries, battling with uh, uh, digital uh, inflation. Our currency uh, depreciated uh, in relationship to, to Naira. And they also say that the, the fiscal policy need to uh, help uh, the monetary policies. I mean, the fiscal policy must also in line with the monetary policies, uh, working together to ensure the stabilities. And um, they also say that uh, the stable growth and some other public finance in the countries, they, they just need to find a way to in order to harness that as well. And they're also saying that the biggest risk that Nigerians need to monitor is the debt. Um, and, and they believe that accord, and currently we have uh, 42.8 trillion of accumulated debt in the countries, in Naira. And so this is a huge debt. And Nigeria is planning to borrow 8.8 .8 million. So just had 8.8 .8 to 42.82. So hopefully it will be a debt crisis we go to up to about 50 trillions. So who is going to pay for this? In future, someone has to pay for this. Uh, so this is one of the big concerns that IMF is, uh, is pointing to Nigerians that need to address. And uh, they just want to find a way that Nigerians, which they believe that Nigerians should be taking advantage of this, of the shortage of gas in the, in the, country, in the world uh, if, if all the refineries are working. Uh, because they know that because we are all exporters and we should be taking advantages of uh, rising in commodities, revenues, and to address some of the needs.
as well as to be able to spend more. And uh, so IMF also said that uh, we need a very high record revenues, uh, something that can keep the gap of that uh, debt up to up to up to up to a stand up to a minimum level. And they also want us to address our subsidies because we pay more on subsidies as well, uh, which is one of the base a lot of issues when it comes to production of oil. And that's I've put more pressures on our revenues and difficult for us to be able to use some of the revenues that we generate in the country in order to ad address that shortage. And uh, because they also know that oil has been, revenue from oil has been a threat uh, due to the uh, theft, um, vandalisms uh, that is currently going on in the country. So that's one of the things they want uh, the country to address. And um, so th these are kind of the things that IMF is just pointing to the country that we currently have and something they just have to look into it. So, um, so Nigeria has to take into consideration this IMF uh, report, especially the, the new government that is coming up. And they should find a way to address these issues because these are big, bigger issues, especially those monetary policies, the fiscal policy, um, how both of them can work in harmonizations. I mean, how they can work in con con collaborations with uh, the Minister of Finance. And in order to bring things up to a standard, even the, even the, even the uh, central bank as well, we know the central bank is independent. And, uh, so uh, they should find a way to create a kind of policy that we cushion the effect of this. And also the effect of problems with hard thefts. Um, we, we know government can do. They can deploy technologies across all the pipelines, uh, give it to a very reliable, multiple reliable companies. Then they harmonize all the data that is collected on a daily basis into one central point. Uh, so, so they don't need to deploy people physically to that pipeline. They just need a, a drone a technologies that will monitor from days and nights. So if there is any movement, if someone is coming there to do any other kind of stuff, um, they, I mean, they can definitely report that and they can deal with that in accordingly. Another thing which I also do, they can also do in terms of this. I mean, uh, it's, 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 they, they just have to be, in, they just have to be accountable, clean, so that any data, any revenues, anything the government generates, um, they should have a portal um, that can uh, enable people to know how many revenues the governments are making from there, so that people can go there and review and how much they generate. So. And the government should be able to use some of the subsidies that they're planning to stop next year, the money, just to re just to refurbish some of these dead uh, refineries, bring them to life. The country, the world, are still in need of, of gas. We're still in need of petrol. Petrol is not going to stop them because this, they still need of energy. And these are things that we should be taking advantage of. So uh, this is one of the things I just come across. And you guys, if you have your thought, if you have any design, if, if, you, if you like this video, just, just help me to subscribe. Subscribe to my, to, to my channels uh, or, just, or, or, or just click the like buttons. So once I come across a new one, I will share it. You take care. Have a great day. Bye.